What is complete blood count or CBC? A complete blood count, CBC, is a test that measures the cells that make up your blood, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. It is one of the most commonly drawn lab tests and is often a CBC has many uses including screening for anemia, looking for signs of an infection part of routine. CBC is done by a lab tech who take a sample of blood by inserting a needle into a vein in your arm. They will send it to the lab for review. What does CBC tell the healthcare provider? This test can tell your doctor a lot about your overall health. It measures the following things. First one is white blood cells. White blood cells primarily help to fight infections. Generally, the white blood cell count will be higher than normal during infections and return to normal when the infection resolves. The normal range is 4,500 to 10,000 cells per microliter, cells slash MCL. Elevated white blood cell count is called leukocytosis and low white blood cell count is called leukopenia. Second one is red blood cell count or RBC, this is the number of red blood cells you have. These are important because they deliver oxygen through your body. The normal range of RBC for men is 4.5 million to 5.9 million cells slash MCL. For women it's 4.1 million to 5.1 million cells slash MCL. If your RBC count is too low, you may have anemia. Third one is hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is a protein in our red blood cells, RBC, that carries oxygen to all the tissues of the body. The normal range for men is 14 to 17.5 grams per deciliter, GM slash DL. For women it's 12.3 to 15.3 grams slash DL. A low hemoglobin is called anemia while an elevated hemoglobin can be called polycythemia or erythrocytosis. Fourth one is hematocrit. The hematocrit is sometimes called the packed cell volume. It is the volume percentage of red blood cells in blood. He normal range for men is between 41.5% and 50.4%. For women the range is between 36.9% and 44.6%. A low score may be a sign that you have too little iron. A high score could mean you're dehydrated. Fifth one is platelets. Platelets are blood cells that help us to stop bleeding. The normal range is 150,000 to 450,000 platelets, MCL. A low platelet count is called thrombocytopenia and an elevated platelet count is called thrombocytosis. Sixth one is mean corpuscular volume MCV is the average size of your red blood cells. A normal range MCV score is 80 to 96. In conditions like iron deficiency anemia, the hemoglobin and the MCV will be low. MCV increase if you have low vitamin B12 or folate levels. Seventh one is mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration, also known as MCHC. This is a measurement of whether there is enough hemoglobin in the RBC. Eighth one is red cell distribution. Width RDW represents the amount of variation in size in the red blood cells. A normal value indicate that red blood cells are similar in size. A high RDW indicates a lot of variation in the size of the red blood cells. Ninth one is white blood cell differential count. The differential refers to the assorted types of WBC. There are five types of white blood cells. This test shows how many of each type you have, neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils, and basophils. Neutrophils helps to fight bacterial infections. Lymphocytes helps to fight viral infections. Eosinophils are involved in allergic reactions and parasite infections. Monocytes fight against many types of infections. Basophils are involved in inflammatory reactions. When you get your report, and if your results are inside the reference range, they're normal. If your results are higher or lower than the reference range, they're abnormal and you should discuss it with your healthcare provider.